Uh, this sweater thing's a little nuts. Yeah, even I didn't realize how big it is. Uh, you had a lot of people here, and you sat here for basically like two hours doing radio and signing autographs. Right. No, it's huge. Twitter, uh, and, and I don't know if you were here right when I first did it, when I, when I sent the tweet, but I had to wait till I was like literally right over there because my experience with this is they like fucking jump down out of the ceiling and shit like ninjas, okay? Uh -huh. As soon as I hit that button, man, people like start jumping out from behind planters and down from the ceilings, and uh, it's pretty crazy. Well, I, you know, I think the other crazy thing is that you have to, you basically have to have your game face on all the time. I saw some, some guy walks up and he's like, you remember me? Remember? Remember? And like, right. just tell him who we are. I mean, right. I, I, that would be my reaction because right. I'm a prick. But, uh, <laughs> but how do you keep your patience with people? I was like, dude, just tell them. Jeez. You know what, man? I, the, 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 the thing that I do know and the, the, the thing that I remember is when I was a fight fan mm -hmm. and what it was like for me to go to the fights and how exciting it was and how fun it was. And I was one of those dudes that knew everybody around the ring, man. I knew guys that you know had all these different – and, and I, I want people to feel that when they come to the UFC. And, you know, what did it take me here tonight? You know, it took me a couple hours, it, you know. A couple hours, and people drove, flew, bought tickets, did all this stuff to come here. And I get it, man. I, I get that. I think that most big sports don't get it. You know, these guys that are walking around with the fucking $60 million paychecks and shit can't take two hours to hang out with some fans. Plus, <coughs> excuse me, these people love what I do just as much as I do. Why would I not want to hang out with these people? Right. You know, I love it. Even doing the radio show tonight, there was some guy that went after me on the radio show and you know, typical radio is to, bye guys, thank you. Typical radio is is to, uh, oh, let's cut this guy off. He's saying, you know, he's 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 asking some tough questions. Right. Fucking bring the tough questions. There isn't a thing that I don't do and a decision that I don't make that I won't stand by. Right. Period. All right. So you mentioned Tito. We were we were kind of joking as you guys were rolling on your video blog. Um, this is a little surreal because I was there. As you were, <laughs> you hid in the back for a little while at the uh, press conference when you guys basically were like, get the hell out of here. They barged in. There was all this drama. Now you're working together again. It's yeah. a little weird. Yeah. It, you know, it, it's the second time that Tito came back after he left, he came back on bad terms. We were, uh, we said, all right, we're cool. You remember when he coached the ultimate fighter? Still hated each other. Mm -hmm. I couldn't stand him. He couldn't stand me. And we said, we'll do business together. Didn't work. Didn't work doing business together that way. We hated each other. A mutual friend of ours, Wayne Harriman, got us together, sat us down, we talked, and I, I truly believe that we got through all the issues. And, and I, I can tell you right now, and I mean it, dude, you know me, you know how I am. Mm -hmm. I don't have a fucking ounce of hate for that guy. I don't. It's over. He did slip a little bit yesterday. He came on the radio show, and he was like, he's like, uh, you know, thank God, the family, this, that. But then he had a slip, and he's like, I think I won, though, between you and him. Yeah, you know what though? It doesn't matter who, who feels they won or how they think they won, as long as it's it's yeah. it's done, you know. And the fans win, and you guys win. Yeah, you guys are going to make a lot of money together. Yeah, I, I mean, we'll we'll see what happens. Now, that's up to him now. Yeah. You know, w whether whether uh, you know he and I make money and the fans are happy is up to Tito. <clears throat> So what's your reaction to some of the, the negative fan feedback on the cards? I mean, you know what? I, even before that, I think you jinxed yourself a little bit. Well, it was probably a month ago. I don't know what you were referencing, but you're like, listen, every day I wake up, I know something messed up is going to happen. I mean, you, you've had a run here where it's like just getting punched in the balls left and right. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a good explanation for it. But you know what? It's, uh, you know, it's what we do. We put on fight cards and shit happens sometimes. It, it, it's, it's my job to deal with it. Well, did you watch Cotto and Pacquiao? I know you did. No, uh, dude. You didn't watch it. What happened was I was on, uh, I was, uh, first of all, we had our fight in England. Right. Then I jumped on the plane and had to fly to Miami. Uh. And I, I missed the fight in the air. But I want to catch it. After it airs this weekend, I want to TV it and watch it. Dude, I am, I admit, one billion percent, I am a, I am a, a Pacquiao fan. One hundred percent. And you said a while back that maybe the one guy that you don't want to go against in boxing. Everyone else you'll take on. Right. Well, Mayweather too. I would stay away from Mayweather yeah, well, now too. De La Hoya too. You know, yeah, De La Hoya too. Yeah. Listen, but I'm saying guys listen, now though. Listen, yeah. there's. It's not that I go and try to take on guys in boxing. Mm -hmm. It's not what happens. My dates are laid out. Right. You know, these guys. Mayweather wasn't supposed to be on my night. He got injured and then ended up going on that night. And then this night that we had, you know, I saw people going, Dana White's a dick. He's going the same <laughs> night as Pacquiao on free TV to try to. We had that free right. TV date. We, we planned those out. We're on TV. You don't just pop that shit up out of nowhere. We had that date. You think I want to go on, on a Pacquiao night? No, I want to watch the fucking fight too. I'm a fight fan. Ask, uh, ask the folks at MGM. 
about the setup. One thing that you guys could use, because you rarely get trumped in the live events. One thing they kind of did steal from you is they did a better uh, job of the video package. But the other thing they did, did you see you two at the Rose Bowl or here? I was they had that. They had that uh, cylinder. Awesome. Well, they did one here for boxing. Uh, you know, you guys have like 150, 200 grand to spend right. easily. Um, right. That's how much it costs. But it, it actually, from a from a fan standpoint, from a viewer standpoint, uh, unless it's like Montreal, actually, I think it would be a good addition. So, yeah. just, a, just a little tip. Well, dude, we have so many screens in there. If you can't see the fight, you're you must be no neck Joe. Okay, <laughs> your fucking head must not be able to turn if you can't see the fight at the UFC. I thought this was a cool thing though because it was above the ring. I heard about yeah, it. Yeah. I heard so, it was good. That's what. When people think I'm trying to kill boxing, I'm trying to get boxing to go to that next level. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I always say about boxing is that I said, if you look at a fucking boxing match from 1982 to today, what's changed? HD. Right. That's fucking it. Right. It's the exact same. It's the same fucking announcers. It's the same everything. You know what I mean? Nothing has changed. Good. Let them fucking raise the bar. Spend some money. Give the fans that pay for tickets something, you know, something to fucking do. Has anyone asked you on, on Lesnar? I know everyone's asked for clarification. Did you get a call from him after what you said last week at uh, UFC 105? Like, dude, shut up. I was kind of wondering because you, you were like, he doesn't, he doesn't want people to know. And then I know they were pressing you, you know, afterwards in the media scrum. But I, I, I don't know. If I'd be like, you know, how about I get to release it and you don't? Did you feel uncomfortable? Yeah. Did he get mad at you for putting out some of the information? No. Not at all. No. Dude, that's my job. But Brock Lesnar is a UFC fighter. He okay. fights for the UFC. He's, you know, he's under our umbrella, and people want to know if it was up to Brock Lesnar. Nobody'd know. Hey, you know what right. I mean? Nobody would even know this happened. But right. it's not, it's not reality. Listen, Brock, you know, Brock gets it. This was a, this was a fucking scary thing for him, man. He was, uh, you know, he, he, he was worried about his future. You know, and it's not only the future of, of, of fighting, but you know, he's got a family, and this is an active guy, an aggressive, active guy. That likes to hunt, ice fish, and do all these other things. So it was a scary time for him. It still is. It's, he's not out of the woods yet. So, uh, so Mir was telling me today, he came on the show, and he said, uh, you know what, if he's going to be back in like six months, don't even do an interim title. You're going to avoid that, or you're gonna, is it going to have to be like a year where he's I'm away? Make, I'm not making any decisions until I find out what happened to him. You know, The other thing that was scary is when we talked to his doctors, this thing that's happened to him, he's had for over a year. So the doctor says, this guy's been at 60% of his potential. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little scary. <laughs> no, that's a lot fucking scary. <laughs> He's at sixty percent of his potential. What's going to happen when he comes back? Uh, He's going to weigh three forty. No, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, how gonna, much bigger can he get? Or how much faster can you beat people? I mean, how how good and how? I mean, it's just there's a lot of a lot of questions out there right now. It's hopefully this this that we can get through this thing. One more on the refing. Uh, so Mazagati, I'm assuming he's going to work this one. Can we can we go back to one point? I know there was a big beef made about uh, Big John McCarthy not working. Can we establish this straight out? If the, if Mazagati's not proof that you guys have no control over McCarthy being out, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's you can't hold McCarthy out just like you can't hold Mazagati out. Uh, <laughs> and by the way, I do. I do think they put Mazagati in California to stick it to you to and kick uh, me in the balls. Well, I, actually, I. I I think you know who the guy is because I, I think they went to Nevada to get the officials, so it was on their recommendation. So, thanks, uh, Keith Kaiser. Keith, <laughs> go ahead. Why do you do this to me, Keith? Why? <laughs> you know I'm going to keep saying it. It's his, it's his guy. What are you going to do? Yeah. yeah, it's his world. All right. <laughs> it's his world, man. I, I have no say in his world. All right. Well, I thought uh, I came out with the zip-up sweatshirt. I thought we were all the fat guys were doing the zip-up yeah, sweatshirt. Yeah, I thing. am. I, you know what? It was, it was so hot when I came here, I didn't need mine, but I'll have to pull it out. What are you gonna? Do? You getting a salad next or something light? Yeah, no, fuck that. I'm going to eat, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm going. To, I'm serious. I'm in this. I'm in this funk right now where I don't want to work out and all I want to do is eat. And I, you know, I know I'm out of control. I know. I, listen, I know I'm out of control. I see all the shit you guys say on the underground and on the video blog stuff. I know I'm getting fat. I'll get. I'll. I'll get it back here in a minute. It's a funk now or a funk yeah, for forty well, years. You know what's funny? It's funny is because one minute. I'm on steroids, right. and then the next minute, <laughs> I'm fat. You know what I mean? I'm a fat, out-of-shape piece of shit. What is it? Am I on steroids or am I fat? Come on.